Hello, friends! Welcome to Something in Real Life. Ooh! So, um, I wanted to show a little other passion of mine. So we have this little mug here. This is all Harry Potter stuff. It's all from, like, Loot Crate stuff and stuff that I got in the Wizarding World and Universal Studios. Um, yeah. There's these little cool, like, founders images that I have. Um, I haven't really done anything with them, Rowena, my queen, and then, um, yeah, um, there's this cool little crystal thing, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, um, if one only remembers to turn on the light, I agree, um, there's a little phoenix there, they have all these little stickers under them, actually. The lightning bolt with a little... These are from Fantastic Beast, um, where I find them. So they don't exactly match, but yeah. Um, there's a little diadem. Whole little headwig. And then little Thestral. And then there's some Thestrals right there. Oh, look at that. And then there's... Little snakey boy. That's good. Oh, I think that's upside down. That's okay, I'll fix that. There's this really detailed pin. Oh, God! <laughs> that um, has the little Hogwarts Express on it. Nine and three quarters. That's lovely. I'll fix that later. I have a little collection of wands. So... You just flip through Draco Malfoy, it gives him a little background, and that's his wand. Oh, Lucius Malfoy. Apparently it doesn't have his wand. Well, I guess he has multiple wands since, like, doesn't his wand get broken or something? Arthur Weasley. Yeah, there's just everyone you could think of. It's a really cool book. Um, There's this little creepy mirror here that you can put stuff in. I put my chocolate frog cards in there. There's another Salazar, and then there's Hingist of Woodcroft. I don't really know who that is, honestly. Um, we have these little erasers. Um, Honeyduke erasers. They're really, really cool and cute. Um, looks like a candy skull or something. It's really cool. Cool, a chocolate frog, classic honeydew treat, if I can get it out. It does look edible. I will not eat it. I don't really know what this is. It's like a slug. It's not nice, though. Yeah, I, I don't ever really want to use them as erasers because it's... I don't know. Um, there's a little pillow with Harry and... Ron, I'll flip it around just for some change. We have the big bad boy that every Harry Potter fan should have. We have, oh god, all seven books here. Very, very nice. Um, if you're going to ask me my favorite one, I think my favorite book, oh god, that's hard. Um, I think it might be Half-Blood. Might just be Half-Blood. Um, just because, wow, Harry goes through it in that one. He really do go through it. Um, yeah, but I mean, all of them are good. I, I, I love all of them. I need to read them again. It's been a year. Um, here's a little Newt Scamander movie scrapbook here. Um, there's a little mappy do of North America, but yeah, there, this is filled with cool things, like Jacob has a little profile about Jacob, I must say, like, I'm not the biggest fan of the Fantastic Beast series, you know, it's, it's good, it's, I, I like it just because it's in the wizarding world and stuff, but mainly I just feel like it's been carried by, um, Eddie Redmayne, just, what a freaking actor. I love you, Eddie. Um, yes, but I, I really do enjoy...
fantastic beast just because of a red main and newt scamander i think newt scamander is a very cool character and then there's the book itself fantastic beast and where to find them so we have an a to z a fantastic beast and then you can just flip through and it gives you like little things that like you can even see uh where harry might have gone through and like ran some notes about it and stuff look Hungarian Horntail, you're not kidding. Most dangerous of all dragon breeds. Really, really cool book. Really like that property of Harry Potter. And then you have to you have to go through the wands. This one is a little bit broken. But it's down here. Ooh. I am currently procrastinating schoolwork. Yes. But there should be a little crystal thing in there and it's not in there. But yeah, that's Newt's, Newt's Commander's Wand. Um, yeah, I mean, besides the fact that it's broken, I really, really like it. And I, I didn't send back for one just because, uh, I don't know, I'm lazy or something. Here's a little uh, Alavans. They kind of did like a their own wand collection thing, but it has like a care package kit for your wand. I never really used it. I just have it as a novelty. Um, we have an Ollivander's wand. Makers of fine wands since 382 BC. Get that lore. And this is the wand I chose at Universal. So I forget which type of wood it is. One second. It is, I think it should, it gives you like a little thing. So, yeah, it gives you a little mappy. It tells you like what to do when you're in Universal Studios. I think this is an interactive wand. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, that's cool. I did have an info sheet about what kind of wood it was and why I chose it, but I guess that's gone. That's big sad. Um, here's the last wand. This is um, also a custom wand, I think. But I really just like the look of it. Um, it's like this dark wood with some carvings in it and it yeah i i just really like the look of it so i have two little unique wands i guess but yeah it's really really cool um face reveal hi hello this is me um i hope you're all enjoying what's coming to the channel um i'm having a lot of fun with it procrastinating with school and stuff hope you all have a good day Stay safe, stay quarantined, have a good day.